Hello everyone and welcome to Starship Theory, a game which, as the name of this video suggests, is pretty close to what I imagine the outcome would be if RimWorld and Faster Than Light spent one passionate, possibly alcohol fueled night together. This is a spaceship game with a lot of simulation elements to it, and uh, I, yeah, it, it, it plays out very similar to what I imagine RimWorld would play like if the setting was a spaceship instead of a colony on a RimWorld. Now, the developer and publisher is Reconnect Software, and from what I understand is this is the uh, the project of a, of a one-man development team. It is a simulation game with an awful lot of strategy behind it, but it is in a very, very early state of development. Alpha build 1.1F. Of course, the 1.1F means <laughs> not so much, um, as there's no really standardized way of, of, of setting the version number, but it is an alpha build, so that's the main thing to take away from this. That being said, even as an alpha game, I've spent a good few hours playing it when I meant to play only for like half an hour and uh, I have had an enormous amount of fun with it. I don't feel that this is, is feature light even for an alpha build. Now we're going to be starting off uh, with a crew as as you might in Fast Than Light and uh, we'll have a very small ship only we'll be able to make our ship big, bigger and design it ourselves and, and do all of the cool stuff. Uh, what should we call our ship? Escape Pod 02. Uh, well I mean all right, that's that's not gonna. We'll go with a with a run about because it is a tiny little ship, uh, and we are going to be able to name a couple of uh, characters now. As this is the first episode, I haven't had a chance to ask anyone if they'd like their name to be used, so we're going to be uh, going with the default of using names from the Dapperdale Discord. So. Uh, now, as you can imagine, all of these stats do have a fairly important role, but they can be trained up in uh, in the game. So they, they only really matter in the initial little part, because after a, a while, any crew will become good at their jobs. However, I'm going to take a bit of time and look for a good starting crew, so we have our, the best possible chance in this first episode. So I will see you in-game with a freshly renamed crew. And here we are with our dinky little runabout. Now there's lots of things you can do even from the onset. Now one thing I will say is there are lots of menus in this game. So we can open up some of them here. This is the plan menu where we can decide what we're going to add and build. In fact, I'll pause it while I'm going through these. This is the roles menu where I can just generically assign people to various roles and also it's a handy dandy uh, list where I can just look and see roughly how many people I've got doing the various roles on the ship. I can assign them just like this. If they haven't got a role, then it'll be the general role, which is more or less just cleaning and hauling. Only there's no hauling, so it's mostly cleaning. Space janitors for the win. Uh, down here we've got our crew screen, and these little bars here tell us their health, their morale, their energy, their hunger, and also their thirst. These things matter. You do need to feed and water your crew. Uh, we've also got the tasks menu, which shows us um, various things like um, construction tasks. We've got the components panel, which will give us info on the amount of uh, energy and CPU our various components are, are drawing, and we'll be able to easily turn them on and off from there. We've got the research screen, which is probably not going to be used for a while. And finally, we have got this. The uh, oh, Let me just drag that out. Ah, Scalawags, come on. There we go. The color screen. Now we can set pretty much whatever we want in here. You can import ships. Um, we can export them. Reset the color options. We can do all sorts of things in this. So you can really customize the look of your ship. It's actually really, really cool. But uh, we're going to get back to the game now. We've got a few components already there. We've got a little solar panel, a little uh, CPU panel, a small diddy little engine, an airlock, a large storage crate, though it's a small storage crate, but it's the largest of the two that we've got. And we've also got a cargo hatch on the outside. You don't need to use these, but they're handy dandy in that they can be uh, slotted into a wall, which is quite a lot more convenient for us. Right, the first thing that we're going to do, we want to expand out our hull uh, fairly dramatically, actually. Um, let's get it out about this large. I really, really enjoy the music in this game. 
Uh, let's do something like that. We're gonna we're gonna expand this out a lot. Uh, furthermore, we want to remove these ones and then replace them with full hulls. Now, one of the the little quirks in this game. Uh, let me make sure that Leafin. Let's get you out there as an engineer, since you're one of the best people for the job. Bubbles will be the best for science, but she's also a fairly good engineer. And until we've got any sciencey stuff for her to do, she can help out there. Doride as well. Eggy the duck, not so good at engineering. Though, again, possibly worth getting Eggy out there simply because uh, there's not much to do in here. But no, Eggy, you can sweep the floors. It's fine. Being a space janitor is important, damn it. Uh, right, so... One of the things with this, you don't just build out rooms with walls and then put floors in them. You have to build the entire thing out of hull section and then build the walls... Uh, sorry, the floors onto hull section in such a way that no floor is directly exposed to space. Furthermore, this airlock does not need to be on the outside. This airlock just needs to be on top of a wall. It can be an internal wall. It doesn't matter. The airlock could just be leading straight up or straight down. Um, so it's it's quite convenient in that regard. Once we've got the walls expanded out, I'm going to be moving a few things. This airlock is going to be moved. Now, we've got a couple of different resources. Metal, silicon, gold, credits, water, and food. Our ship also has a cargo capacity, and that's going to really come into uh, importance once we start mining. Uh, it's total power units available and total CPU available, or rather used and maximum, from which you can you can arrive at how much is available. We have got the structure of the ship, the armor, which we don't have any yet, the shield, which is going to be a long ways off. Um, also, the heat in the ship. Heat is super important here. Do not forget heat vents, otherwise you will cook your crew. Not that I have ever done this even once. No, 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 no. This is just obvious. Obviously, I looked at this and immediately came to the conclusion that this was important and didn't have to uh, trial by fire, literally. Uh, the ship accuracy is how accurate your weapon systems are. Sensors detect incoming threats with additional warning. Um, there are two types of situations that I'm aware of in the game so far. Ships, which can either be hostile or non-hostile, or asteroids, which are more or less always hostile. Um, we've got various codes, so uh, alert codes that I can use here. Blue, all crew return to the ship. Black, abandon ship. And red, crew focus on combat roles and repairs. Uh, manual orders require to build new, build new structures. Uh, we can execute a warp jump, which is useful for getting out of there if the, you know, a lot of missiles are heading straight towards your ship. Uh, oh dear, we are at an asteroid area. Right, let's pause the game for a moment. I'm going to need at least one mining laser. Honestly, I'd kind of like a regular laser too, but we don't have one of those. We are going to need a heat vent. Um, I'll pop a heat vent, two heat vents out there. Right, chop chop people. We are luckily going to avoid these asteroids. Now, just because there's an asteroid does not necessarily mean you're going to get hit by it. It can float straight over the top of your ship, or under your ship. Uh, well, it's always over the top, but I, I imagine that, uh, in my mind's eye, it's possibly going under sometimes as well. There we are, the uh, lasers coming online. This is a metal asteroid, which is fantastic. Two metal asteroids. That is not fantastic. That is a big, hulking, great pile of hurt right there. Now, I don't have any heat sinks yet, so I can't... There we go, we can start firing. I can more or less shoot at anything. You've just got to drag the laser over it, and you'll start... Ooh, a bit of water there. Right, we need all of this metal, but whilst we're gathering it... Oh, no, 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 we want that on. Can we not turn it on? Do I not? Ah, oh, scallywags, I don't have enough power. That is unfortunate. We're going to have to make do with just a single laser then, and just slowly cool down. You can see the heat building up on the side. Uh, come on, little asteroid. If you get the systems overheating, then uh, fires start occurring in your ship. It's not not a great time. And we're just going to collide with this one. Hopefully, it'll just go straight over the top of us. There's not a lot we can do about it, though. Um, we need this metal. There we go. All right, so... Ouch, 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 ouch. Never mind. Our people will, will heal the everything. Okay, so what are we lacking? We're lacking power. So, let's go ahead and drop down a couple of solar panels then. 
Um, we're going to need a lot more power than we're going to need anything else, so let's get most of that. One nice thing about the task menu is it says exactly what all of your constructions are going to require. Repairs require nothing but an engineer's time. Um, we've got more than enough materials at the moment to do all of this. I'm going to pop down a new airlock on this side. It's probably worth having multiple airlocks, in my opinion. Um, because it just means that people will be able to select the best possible place to exit the ship from. And that is going to, you know, be a very important thing. Uh, we're also going to want a lot more CPU as well. You can deconstruct things as time goes on, if you need to. We, right now, metal is probably one of the, the biggest things that you're going to want to gather. But later on it becomes silicon gold. I mean, you need a little bit of everything, especially when you start getting to the more advanced systems that you will uncover through research. Although that sh that rock looks gigantic and impossible to crack, we can crack it. And you only use a bit of heat when you crack something. With mining a metal asteroid, because we're draining it constantly, it's not so bad. There we go. Now I want to break these ones that are heading straight for me. Ooh, a little metal asteroid there. There we go. That actually wasn't too bad. A ship on long-range scanners. That could be bad or it could be good. Early on, I think the game intentionally tries to be kind to you by not giving you too much that you have to fight against. Right, now we've got two airlocks here. We don't want both of them. Let's go ahead and remove that one. We are starting to fill up our cargo quite quickly. That's a bit of a concern. Uh, this heat vent can now be turned on. Fantastic. So we should be able to uh, quickly um, handle the heat from a single laser. Shouldn't be an issue. The ship is on an intercept course. Now that does not necessar uh, necessar necess necessarily mean that we are going to be attacked. It just means they they're going to come and say hello. Uh, they may say hello with the comms, or they may say hello with their weapons. Eh. It, it would be unfortunate if they did say hello with their weapons right now. I don't think they are. No. Okay, they're not currently hostile. You'd get a warning. They're power up, powering up weapons if they were. Uh, it looks like a diddly little ship just like the one we had. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Uh, right, we could buy some metal. We could sell some gold. You don't get to choose this. It's not like they've got a cargo and you can say, okay, I'll take this much of your metal, this much of your gold. No, this is the only offer that they're making. I can buy 48 metal for 240 credits. Or I can buy a person for a certain amount. I could sell 28 food. I don't have 28 food. I can also threaten them. I don't have a weapon. And uh, hmm, neither do they, though. And the next time that someone comes along, I'd really like to be able to buy another crew person. Um, and I just flat out don't have the materials needed to do anything else. So I'm going to threaten them and see how this goes. Uh, our threat failed. They're powering up the weapons. The weapons that they don't have. Combat in this game is... Well, in a sense, it's pointless. You don't get anything from combat. There's, there's no point to the combat in this game. Um, you don't get anything from for winning. It's not like uh, Fast and Light where you will eventually... Um, take out all of their, their crew and then you'll get to rip the, the ship apart and all of that kind of good stuff. No, that doesn't happen in this one. It's just a case of you can fight them if you really want to. Um, you don't have to though. And uh, so many rocks breaking my ship. Stop breaking my ship, you scallywag rocks. Let's get rid of all of those. There we go. Uh, we have got a weapon on now, so I can uh, just go ahead and, and start attacking. Go for the systems. I would on the, on the hull such as the heat vents, if they had a weapon, taking out the heat vent would mean that they would have to use it very sparingly. And in fact, if you take them all out, then they can't cool down until they repair it. Um, taking out their power or their CPU has a similar effect. The, their subsystems will shut down. Uh, actually, yeah, go ahead and attack there. And we're more or less going to ignore them while, they're doing, while we're doing that. Oh, there's really no point in, in worrying about them. Uh, now, a small crate is going to just take a little bit of... Uh, storage capacity, which I'm completely fine with providing. Um, now, how do I want to set this up? Because we've got a little bit of room in here. Uh, this would be a nice... Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll just have storage crates at the, at the top of this room. Now, that'll be more than enough for us for a long time. Oh, we lost one of the bloody lasers that I was building. That's annoying. Let's go ahead and rebuild that, shall we? Pomp, 
There we go. Now, you can use lasers for shooting rocks. And lasers are significantly better at it than your mining laser. I know that sounds odd, but they, it, they're much better at breaking up large rocks, like so. Uh, there we go. So now that we've got this laser, we're going to be a lot better at dealing with the larger um, asteroids that are on a collision course for us. Uh, continue breaking them down. As soon as we've got that second um, storage crate, I'm going to get rid of this one. Can't access water. Yeah, I know I haven't built anything that you access it yet. I know, it's bad, it's bad. And I'm going to I'm gonna get it sorted to you soon. Right, this one is the next one to remove. Let's get rid of that. Um, yeah, we, we probably should get the water and food dispensers up as soon as possible. So we'll pop down a water dispense a water cooler there and a food dispenser now you use um mouse three and four by default binding uh, for the rotations i think that's charming mainly because most games use only keyboard controls for the for the rotational commands i i always re have to rebind it to the mouse so uh it seems that the dev here is like me and likes using all of the buttons on his mouse for uh doing these kinds of things Let's uh, go for their heatsink again. They're just going to hang around for a while until they decide to leave. Now that we've threatened them, they're, they're not going to play. We, we can't trade with them anymore. So uh, if you are going to threaten someone, make sure you do all the trading before you threaten them. Just word to the wise. Uh, there we go. We'll get rid of that as well. Now we've got more than enough storage. So at this point, we're going to take apart that crate. There we go. Now, we're not d directly uh, producing water or food at the moment, but you can produce food. Water is pretty much something you just only ever mine. You don't ever produce water. Um, now, they're easily going to be able to handle this. We could, if we wanted to, shoot the people in their ship. It's, it's a bit of a mean thing to do, honestly. But especially on a ship like this, where there's only this tiny little bit on the floor, just aim at a single point in the ship, and let your weapon just fire there repeatedly. Eventually, you're going to kill someone. And when you do, uh, A, their other crew members are going to have suddenly have an extra job of carrying them out to the airlock and giving them a, a space burial. And B, when someone moves off that tile, you're breaking the floor, and eventually you'll break the hull, and then no air, and people tend to die if they don't have air. I found, anyway, in my experience, that's the usual outcome to a lack of air. Right, okay, so with that, we're going to uh, expand our ship a little bit more. We don't have much yet on the ship. Uh, we want to expand it uh, a fair bit, actually. Uh, we'll start off by... Let's see. <clears throat> I'd kind of like some engines on the sides, you know. I think I really would only issue with that is you need room for engines. You need to be able to access engines. So, how about we build out a little point? Ah, see, I've already built an airlock there, but I think having a full engine section would be a better one. Oops, I put that in the wrong place, didn't I? Let me uh, get rid of there. And we'll actually pop down doors. Now, for obvious reasons, you want to have doors on your ship, internal doors, because you want to be able to seal off an area. For example, a fire started, you want to be able to close that area off and possibly vent it to space. Much like Faster Than Light, you can vent areas to space uh, to help with getting rid of a fire and just starve it of oxygen. And eventually, when there are borders, I can only assume that uh, you're going to want to be able to vent the sections of the ship that the borders are in. It makes perfect sense to me. Now, we're not going to have enough metal here for all of this. We can speed up time if we want, and, and we may as well here. Ah, oh, we killed someone. They're leaving. They're leaving. They're carrying the dead. Oh, we didn't get to see them throw them out of the airlock. It's always kind of amusing when they do that. Uh, that sounds horrible. I uh, Fair play. Um, you know, there's not much I can say to that, actually. Saying that it's always fun to watch someone having to throw their friends out an airlock is not exactly the most dapper thing I could have said. Uh, right, let's uh, get this area set up there. Despite what it might appear, this is definitely not a Dark Avac playthrough, okay? It's just, in space, it's us and it's them, alright? This is just the way it has to be. Now, what I would very much like is getting some more CPU panels, maybe on the outer points here. Might even have an airlock there. 
and an airlock on this side as well so that my uh, engineers could exit the ship from either direction <clears throat> but as you can see we have no more materials to use, which is unfortunate. It's going to take us a little while. We're going to have to just hope that we can find an asteroid field. Ah, oh, fantastic. We have found an asteroid field. These are happy, happy days. Uh, but yeah, we're going to want CPU panels probably on the out points there and there, I would say. Now, later on, you can research all of these things. You see these uh, numbers here? This is the amount of research points needed to be able to unlock these various things. And that's true of all of the, the points. You do have furniture. You do have beds. People do care if they eat on a table. The similarities to RimWorld are numerous um, and very comical as well. Defenses, some things cost an awful lot to research. And most of those really, really expensive ones are in the weapons and the defensive categories, you will find. Uh, okay, well, we really would like <clears throat> a lot of uh, stuff from here. That's right, just split this asteroid up. That was a really terrible shot. How about there? There we go. Oh, very nice indeed. No, come back! Ah, scallywags. That was annoying. Okay, we need to uh, be shooting straight ahead. Generally speaking, if I'm not doing anything else, I should be shooting straight ahead. Ooh, silicon. That's actually incredibly useful. Let's gather as much of that as we can before it's all gone. All right, it's all gone now. Uh, is there anything else interesting coming my way? Not really. Let's start shooting this rock over to the side. And again. Now, that can work against you in that you can end up shooting something at the ship. Because you've got no guarantee of which direction any of these things are going to decide to start flying off in. So be aware of that. You might accidentally make things a lot worse, like now. Uh, no, that one didn't actually become too much worse. Okay, not too terribly bad. Still not... Ah, oh, some giant space rock right ahead of me. I really should be uh, zoomed out at the maximum distance, especially when I'm moving at uh, full speed. Now, there is a star on the way. Stars are bad. Stars... Make hurty fire. Like these hurty fires. Not good fires. Bad. Naughty. Um, you will typically find that when something catches on fire, it turns off. I have no idea if that's to prevent um, further damage or not. It could be. Um, but I would really like an astronaut to go out there and put out that fire on my uh, one of my lasers before it gets completely broken. Ooh, gold. Gold is good. Gold is used for advanced systems. Let's uh, grab this. As you can see, though, with two heat sinks, we're actually doing fairly well. Though, uh, that being said, right as I said it, uh, we stopped doing fairly well. Uh, right. Well, we're going to cook ourselves at this point. We don't need the star's help, but I really want that gold. There we go. Now, we're going to be getting a bunch of fires until we're uh, in a better position here. Um, until we get all of this gone. Let's turn this CPU panel on, and this um, solar panel on, and the water cooler back on, please, and also the food dispenser. There we go. We should actually have enough power at this point to run both lasers at the same time. You can add them to a control group. I recommend you do. Power those on. Power that one on. Oh, can I not power both? That is a shame. I might just be shy. Ah, yes, I think, yeah, they take 20 power. Okay, well, we can power this one down then instead, and then this one on. There we go. And use both lasers until we find something worth harvesting. Oh, that was a bit of a miss. Systems are overheating. Ah! Poop! We just lost one of our guns by firing it when we were that much over our heat. Wow, okay. That got hot very fast. Scallywags. Okay, well that was a bit of a bit of a uh, mess up there. Oh, my uh, heat vent shut down. Well, that's what you get when you don't pay attention to the icons. Ah, need to shoot right now. Like super need to shoot. Could you please put out the fires? I I can't vent the internals yet because you're all still in there. Shoot. There we go. Now shut that down. And possibly. Uh, you know what, I'm going to turn the uh, solar panel on even though it's currently on fire. Uh, let's turn the power back onto this. No, now that is also on fire. Ah! Flames, why do you hate me so? 
quickly put that, that out. Thank you. I need to gather this if I can. Whilst I can. We've got no metal anymore, which is tragic, frankly. Uh, right, okay. Start shooting forward. Okay, if someone could hopefully put out that fire. That is great. It's quite rough early on. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Uh, actually, I really would like you to shoot that one if you could. Can we get this turned on? Do I not have enough power? No, not with this turned off. There we go. There we are. Okay. You're going to be spending a lot of time in pause in this game. Uh, ship detected on long range scanners. That's fine for the time being. Let's continue to mine. Okay, systems are overheating. Shut everything down. There we go. And just let uh, let all of the things get away that just got away. Could you go and put out that fire quickly before it breaks something? That would be grand. Oh, the internal fires are pretty nasty. Will you, oh, will you please do what I just told you to do? It will eventually just break. Don't worry, he's not dead. He's just sleeping because he's lazy. Uh, could you possibly put out the fire? Uh, no? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just, you know, you know better, I guess. Oh, you scallywag engineers. Lazy. That's what you are, lazy. Now I'm going to have to build a new one for for lots of monies. That's not good. Turn on the heat fans. Could you please put out that fire for me? My goodness. Uh, they're not hostile, thank goodness, because they, that would be super bad if they were. Right, okay, we are at a point now where everyone is not putting out the fire. This happens more often than I would like to admit. Please put that fire out, like really, right now. Right now that fire needs to not be there. That fire, Oh, You can take control of them if they're not doing what you want them to do. You can uh, take manual control and then say, go, go there and do that thing. Do that thing that you do. Right, let's have a look. What can we do? We can buy 12 metal for 22 credits. That's actually not a bad return. Um, I could buy 20 food. Don't need to. I could sell 21 water for 97 credits. I'm definitely going to do that because that is exactly enough for us to buy a new crew member. Hooray! We have got a new person on the crew. It shall be glorious. We have got Frederick, who's going to need a name, by the way. You know what to do. Comments down below. Uh, right, Frederick is actually uh, quite, quite, uh, quite hardy. Well done, Frederick. I approve. Uh, right. Well, we need to rebuild the stuff that we lost, which is mainly a CPU panel over here. Uh, we also need to pop down a floor in there, and then finally an airlock over here. Now, do we have everything we need for that? We do not. We very much do not. And that is a shame. If you are weapons, you do, so I'm not going to threaten you, basically. Uh, right. Bubbles, you can go back to uh, your own stuff. Uh, Frederick, how much skill have you got? Yeah, you're all right, actually, with um, science-y kind of endeavors. Going to need to get that airlock set up as soon as we can, but we're going to need to find another asteroid field before then. Now, you can do these things yourself eventually. At the moment, not easily. Uh, we're also going to want a door, an internal door there. And eventually, after that, we're going to want a mini engine right there. Now, these have to be built in walls, so do plan for that. You know, it's the way the wall kind of... Uh, cut into the engine, or rather the engine cuts into the wall, but it has the wall kind of overlapping. You do need to bear that in mind. The larger engines, if we have a look at them, we can't build them yet, but they'll be in different positions. So that one would need two blank spaces behind it. The medium engine would need um, two layers, and six in total, two by three. And the large engine is bloody humongous. We wouldn't even be able to fit it on our ship as, at present. The medium engine, we would barely, that we'd cut into a lot of our, our room. So uh, these are the things that we're going to be setting up. Uh, right now, door right to get in has to go through the airlock. Um, can you go, can you? Um, is food dispenser turned off? Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, they will give you a lot of information on this sort of thing. We had our engine turned off. How long has that been the case? Notice that we've got our ship evade, which is based on the mass of the ship, the total power of the engines, the crew of the engineers manning the engines, and the crew of the navigators manning the navigation console, if you have one. 
There's a lot of things that go into a fade. A lot of ways that you can buff it. Now, unfortunately for us, it's a matter of just waiting for us to encounter either a ship or an asteroid. We do have food, we do have water, but uh, we're starting to run low on the food. We're going to need to get some new food soon. Asteroid field detected! Oh, thank goodness. Now, one of the big things that I would suggest when playing this game, get the navigation console as soon as is humanly possible, or even inhumanly possible, don't, don't worry about it, because if you can get a navigation console, then you can intentionally pick a route to an asteroid field. You can't steer the ship, but you can um, steer it in kind of a macro sense. You're always just going to be going forward, you can't slow down, you can't speed up, you can't avoid asteroids that way. But you can say, set a course to an asteroid field, or set a course to a ship. And your navigator will take charge and make it so. There we go, let's see what we get. A little bit of metal, please, thank you. Um, I do find that running the game in full speed while trying to mine is... exciting! Let's put it that way. Uh, right, let's uh, try and break you apart. Nothing too much there. What are we going to get from you? Nothing too much either. It'll take us more time than we have to break this down. It'll be behind us when it breaks. Okay, now we're starting to deal with the bigger rocks. It's time for us to actually start using our main weapons. Oh, wait, I haven't turned that one on. Let me uh, flip that. the switch. Always helps when trying to shoot things to make sure that your gun is turned on. Surprisingly. Not gonna matter. Uh, actually, that did matter. Uh oh. Um, okay. You aim for this one, and we're gonna slow down time so that I can uh, be a little bit more uh, accurate with what I'm doing. Thank you. That uh, metal did matter. Uh, right, we got a little bit more. Do I need to be firing the main gun? No. So shut that down so I'm not using up heat unnecessarily. A little bit of silicon. We've got a lot of silicon and not a very great deal amount uh, of um, metal right now. That's that's quite a shame. Uh, we're building this airlock. Once we've got that, we can get rid of this one. Well, actually, no. We need this airlock first. Uh, or is that Dorite health? Uh, Dorite, why are you not... Why are you over there, Dorite? Uh, manual control. Dorite, go there. Dorite, leave. Leave the ship. Go outside, come back in. Go back in, Dorite. Oh my lord. Please don't tell me you're gonna mess this. <laughs> Dorite! No! Dorite, come back. I think Dorite is gonna die because they don't understand what side of the airlock to come in on. This is a problem. We might be able to save Dorite's life by showing Dorite that you shouldn't be using that side. Uh, okay, we're going to have to be very careful in the way that we uh, do these things. All right, all right. I think you need to get indoors, and I think you need to uh, stop suffocating. So, can you not? Oh, no. We absolutely need all of the metal right now, then. This... Dorite's life depends on it. The game the game has decided that this may be the end of this, of this playthrough. It's alpha. Okay, so understand that these things will happen, but that is that is a bit of a frustration, to say the very least. But, uh, actually, since those ones are going to get away from me, start firing on those ones. And I'll try and break these with the mining laser. There, oh, come on, please. Glorious metal. We've got seven. How much do we need for an airlock? We need five. Okay, okay. Dorite, this one is super high priority. Oh, my lord. Get over there right now. Um... Go, go, Dorite, go. Don't care about anything else. Care about only the airlock. Dorite might make it, Dorite might not. Uh, it's it's down to Dorite at this point, whether Dorite makes it or not. Get inside as soon as our airlock is finished. Uh, okay, stop firing because that gold may actually come into reach. Come on, Dorite. We're all, we're all rooting for you. Come on. Can someone help from the inside, I wonder? No, I don't think so. I think anything that's attached to the hull has to be built from the outside. Uh, okay, well, let's hope we get another area. Oh, my lord. Come on. Get inside! No! <laughs> Doride managed to build the airlock and then perished. Ugh. Worst day 
ever for Doride. I mean, not for the rest of the crew. They're okay. Now you've got a new airlock provided by uh, Doride. We shall name this airlock Doride airlock number one. Ah, uh, D1 for short. I can actually do that. Um, I can't easily do it when I set things up. Uh, I need to move that away, but I could put D1. And I'm actually tempted to do it. You know, for posterity. Posterity reasons. Can I uh, open this? Unlock. There we go. You can now go out. It's fine. Go on out. Uh, okay, I assumed that they would just use doors however they wanted. It appears that that is not the case, however. And they do actually need you to unlock the door. You learn something every day. Every day is a school day on this ship. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, Doride, Doride is no more. Rip Doride. However, we can pop down the floor. If only we had been able to do this before. Alas. Uh, how much does the CPU panel? It's five. So we could move that CPU panel if we desperately wanted to. And I do. Let's move that CPU panel. And then we're going to get rid of this. Because we need to commemorate this airlock, damn it. I can't believe we lost Doride already. Oh, so bad. We spent so much money on Doride. <sighs> okay, well, we've got that all set up. The mini engine is going to take a, a lot more to make. But now that we've got that, we can go ahead and I believe if we have a look at using the utility, maybe. Um, or furniture. Hull marking. There we go. So we pop down these hull markings. Uh, how much do they cost? Nothing. Great. Let's uh, wait for those to be made. Could you please do the hull markings first? And the second one. Uh, this is a planet, not a start. Good. This needs to be D. And this needs to be 1. There we go. D1. Doride 1. Ah, oh, bless. Poor, poor door ride. Uh, right, hull marking. Let's go and find that. Where is hull marking? Should be in the H section, but it is not. Maybe it's in the M section. Uh, zoom all the way down. Uh, no, everything is now all over the place. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's go for a nice, nice, bold, sort of ready orange color. Something like that. Apply. D1. Uh, maybe it make it a little bit more gold. Something around... It's not quite gold. It need to be a tiny bit more orangey, I think. Good enough. As for the hull itself, let's change this. Um, I'm thinking... You either want a blue, like a, a sort of deep blue. Mm, a little bit too deep, I would say. Let's go for something around there. Okay, I like that. This is our, our new ship. And we've already got a named airlock thanks to a stupid engineer. Uh, or maybe a stupid commander. Who can say? I'd rather if you didn't. If I'm perfectly honest, don't try to answer the question. I've got a funny feeling of what the answer would be. Uh, 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 is there a star right behind this planet? Why is this planet... Why has it got oceans? If we're that close to the star, why is there liquid on this planet? Oh my lord. Maybe the liquid is rocks. Alright, this needs to be unlocked for now. And this needs to be turned back on. Okay, so. A little bit of excitement in the day so far. A little tiny bit of excitement. Uh, currently, we can evade a little bit. Um, the higher our evade chance, though, the better it's going to be for us on the whole. Ship detector and long range scanners. Oh, okay. Are we going to be having a fight? A fight to end, end the episode on? Perhaps we will. Uh, I would like some solar panels there and there. It's going to take us a little while to get to that, though. Uh, ship now on an intercept course. Well, that's unfortunate for us. Eventually, I would like to move both of these down there and have. Uh, uh, no, they're not. They're not uh, hostile. That's good. I can't, I don't want to sell metal, I want to buy it. Um, and I don't want to sell my food either. Okay, threats. Our threat was successful, ha ha! We've got some cash. And we've got a lot of waiting to do as well, which is super bad. But okay, well, uh, eventually my plan is to move this over there, get two 
Um, uh, CPU panels there and there. Remove this because we'll have four of them in total. Name this D2, Doride 2, or maybe I'll name it something else, depending on if we have another silly engineer suffocates. And then put another airlock there. Then start building out the ship in this direction. We're going to need another room for our command consoles, such as navigation and research to begin with. We're eventually going to need a botany area so we can grow our own food because currently we're using food up. We're not getting new food, and uh, all, it all more or less relies on us just encountering uh, another vessel that wants to sell us food at a price that we can afford at the moment, and that's quite a uh, quite a bit of crossing fingers involved in that particular situation. Metal, come back! Bloody metal keeps trying to escape. Won't be having it, not today. Ah, uh, ship as well. While we're in an asteroid field, you can end up fighting people in an asteroid field. Don't think that the game will pull its punches in that regard. It has happened, and it sucks. Though the asteroids do tend to help you with the other ship a little bit. Not intentionally. I don't think the asteroids really want to help. Uh, it's just that they can't help but help when they're crashing into your enemies. Uh, okay, that was... No, don't shoot the, the ice. I need it. Thank you. There we go. Um... Oh, thank goodness, when I saw two of them, and the fact they've got rocket pods, super bad times. I uh, don't want to sell that, surprisingly. I do, however, want to buy this. Yes, please. Thank goodness. Let's get rid of this. Bomp, you're gone. Um, once we've got that built, we're going to be taking this away because we're going to expand. We don't need to put our thrusters evenly on the ship. That's not an, uh, a necessary uh, part to this. Could we please get all of this finished? There we go. Marvelous. Oh, right. Okay. I should be shooting things still. There. Ah, uh, badness and sadness. Okay. That is. If you break the thing that I just built, so annoyed. That there? Nope. It's already escaped. Uh, that would be super good. Thank you. Don't shoot the other ship, though. That would be bad times. Okay. This is possibly going to be bad. And again, oh, thank goodness. Don't think it hit us. I don't think we were we were struck. Uh, maybe try aiming over there. I'm going to have to slow speed down, though, because of my silly human reflexes. Uh, okay, that was bad. Aim about there. There we go. We need to try and get as much as we can, specifically metal right now. Oh, gold will do. And metal. Thank you very much, laser. I know you didn't mean to, but thank you. Ah, gold is out of range. Okay, yeah, all right. Right, right. No more shooting. Uh, actually, a little bit of shooting, just no more lasering. There we go. Even though they're both lasers. No more mining. About there. They are leaving. That's fine. Let's see if we can hit you at super long range. We can, but it's not really helping us right now. It's not bringing anything closer. Uh, we've got a little bit of metal, though. We need... Actually, we've got enough to finish the uh, engine at this point. Fantastic. We are on course to being awesome. Let's uh, break these down. That uh, silicon is way too far away. We'll never reach it, unfortunately. Okay, let's try uh, taking this out. There we go. It is definitely worth mining with your main weapons, though. Ultimately, that was a bit of a trick shot. Unintentional. Uh, just because they're so much more efficient at cracking the large asteroids. Uh, that one is broken. Nothing good coming my way, though. Can't even reach that one, unfortunately. Okay. Well, it looks like we are not going to be getting anything more from this asteroid field. And that is extremely sad. However, you should probably still go for the distant shots. Because they may break in such a way that it delivers the materials closer to your ship. Uh, I was focusing too much on something else. There we go. Let's put these up. I can reach this one. And we've got a little bit of ice, so we've got some more water at the very least. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting anything else here. We've got a little bit more silicon. Not really what we needed, though. Needed more um, metal than anything. Uh, X to shut down that laser. We're not going to build another laser just yet. Right, okay, so our goal at the moment is to build out uh, the walls down here, so something like this, I would say. And we also want to remove this engine 
right there. Even though currently this is giving us a nice little bump to our uh, evade, we need to get rid of it because it's in the way of where we're going to be putting a door. But I think with that, and whilst we drift aimlessly through space, waiting for either an asteroid field or an enemy ship, possibly an enemy ship, a ship, to uh, jump us, I'm going to be wrapping up the episode there. I do hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me in the next episode. Again, if you'd like to uh, grab a name, then do post a comment down below with what name you would like to give Frederick. I mean, Frederick's a pretty, pretty awesome name, in my opinion, but, you know, is it the most awesome name who can say but as ever do remember to leave a like if you liked and sub if you haven't and i'll see you next time take care everyone